One in 10 people say they're allergic to penicillin, but new research suggests this number could be quite wrong. Have a look. While penicillin is the oldest antibiotic, it's still an effective frontline treatment for a wide range of bacterial infections. Many people are not prescribed penicillin because it is thought they are allergic. But new studies suggest that a lot of people may not be penicillin allergic even if labeled so. Researchers studied nearly 600 children thought to be allergic to penicillin. 51% experienced only a mild reaction to the antibiotic. After formal testing of 100 of those children, zero tested positive for an actual penicillin allergy. So the question is, are far too many people labeled as penicillin allergic? This may seem like no big deal, but I'm telling you from the ER doctor's perspective, when you see those allergies on the chart, it can take you down a certain path that you don't want to go down. And, and this, this is quite fascinating because we, some of this stuff's been dogma, right? Mm -hmm. And if someone's penicillin allergic, then you got to avoid all these you other potential You don't go there. Allergies. I mean, yeah, the, yeah. boom, when you see that red flag on our, on our charts as a red label, allergies, how often do we see penicillin? A lot. A lot. A, a lot. lot. And a lot of times they'll come in and they'll say, oh, I'm allergic to penicillin. And then when you ask the follow-up mm -hmm. question, so what happens when you take penicillin? They don't even remember. No. They yeah. say, oh, I was told as a kid. Exactly. I had I was some reaction. And, and the problem is, as a physician, that really ties your hands yeah. about what you can possibly prescribe if the patient actually has well, an infection. That and this study out of UT Southwestern That's in Dallas, <laughs> reputable place. The fact that in that study, 97.6% of patients with a penicillin allergy listed in the church didn't have an actual allergy. Think about that, because you, you think about penicillin, it's still really effective for things like strep throat, but then also you take kids. Amoxicillin, which is in the same class, used for ear infections, yeah. pneumonias. Yeah. And the truth is, a doctor, if they see penicillin allergy and they have no idea what that means, you don't want to be the doctor that potentially gives a child or an adult an anaphylactic reaction. So what happens is you just, you kind of, well, what are the alternatives? And so if nothing else, I, I would have thought this was blasphemy in the past, but I think if someone is particularly taking a lot of antibiotics and you're not sure if you're truly allergic, I think getting formally tested for it may be worth it. Yeah, and, yeah. It's, and it's important to distinguish a low risk from a high risk allergy. So if someone talks about lip swelling, throat swelling, facial swelling, that's high risk. That's not something anybody should challenge or, or even try to push because no. that can end up in anaphylaxis and death and be very, mm. very dangerous. Mm -hmm. But a low risk allergy, if someone tells you maybe they get a little rash, maybe they're a little itchy, sometimes even diarrhea, which we kind of consider an allergy, it's just a normal side effect because you're disrupting all the flora in your gut, that could be something to question it a little bit more.